What is up guys, Zanif Tech is here and today we'll be doing a quick comparison between the iPhone X dummy and the iPhone 7 Plus. The iPhone X has an amazing 5.8 inch display, true tone display with HDR, ranging at 458 ppi. Here I have the iPhone 7 Pluses side by side with the iPhone X and as you can see they went from a full aluminum structure to a glass structure on the iPhone X and also the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus to allow wireless charging. On the iPhone X they shifted the camera downwards and they included new portrait mode and portrait lighting with the inclusion of the front camera. The only difference on the iPhone X to the iPhone 7 Plus on the bottom is that they removed a couple of holes but they still have the microphone on the left side and the speaker on the right and also the dual speaker in the front speaker mesh. If you place the iPhone X on top of the iPhone 7 Plus, you can see that the bodies are slightly smaller on the iPhone X. That is due to the bigger screen and it feels more like an iPhone 7 instead of a Plus. Here you can see that the screen real estate is a lot smaller on the 7 Plus than the iPhone X because of the lack of bezels on the iPhone X making it fit inside of the 7 Plus but still have a bigger screen. They did an amazing job with that technology and if you put them head to head you can see that the screen is a bit wider on the 7 Plus but you do have a more diagonal screen ratio on the iPhone X. Here's the iPhone X in my hand. I do have bigger hands but the iPhone X fits very nicely and it looks like it's meant to be. They finally got the screen ratio correct with the actual size of the phone. A lot of people have been wanting to get a smaller iPhone with a bigger screen and that was not possible until they got these Super Retina displays. The iPhone 7 Plus and 6S Plus were rather too large in size. Because of these big bezels, the screen wasn't that big either. It wasn't being improvement from the old 4.7 inch screens on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6, but it was just too big. Here if I have them both in my hand, you can see that the iPhone X has a very smaller footprint than the iPhone 7 Plus. They never released the color that I've shown in this video. It used to be called the blush gold, but I guess Apple never took it to find a production line. If you put the iPhone X on the top, you can see that the volume rocker and the vibrate switch line up correctly. The power button is a bit bigger on the iPhone X due to the gesture touches that will be using Apple Pay and activating Siri since there's no home button anymore. And I really do like that it's going to be easier to press with the elongated button. If you like my quick comparison between the iPhone X and the 7 Plus, stay tuned for the official iPhone X review when it comes out on November 3rd. And I'll definitely be back. Zanif Tech is out.